Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Patriot P210 SATA SSD. The P210 is one of the cheapest SATA SSDs right now on Amazon. I picked up the 256GB version for under €23 Euros and the 512GB version for just over £27 and I've often seen them for even lower prices than that. It's an entry level drumless SSD that uses 3D TLC NAND and a silicon motion controller. The design is just about as basic as it gets. A plain black plastic case with a blue Patriot label on one side. Patriot sells this drive in capacities from 128GB right up to 2TB. As you'd expect there are a few differences in the manufacturer's speed and endurance ratings between the different sizes. According to Patriot, the 128GB drive can manage up to 450MB per second read and 350 write. The 256GB version increases that to 500 read and 400 write, while the 512GB, 1TB and 2TB versions are all the same at 520MB per second read and 430 write. There are also some differences in endurance between the different sizes with the 128GB version being warranted for up to 60TB written or 3 years, whichever comes first. The 256GB version is warranted for up to 120TB written, the 512GB for 240, with 480 for the 1TB version and 960TBW for the 2TB version. These endurance ratings are pretty much on a par with the standard for this segment of the market. It's also worth noting that Patriot have a notice on their website saying that if you use the SSD for farming storage based crypto, like Chia for example, then they may refuse to service it. Now let's take a look at some speed tests and see how the 256GB and 512GB versions of the drive compare. First in Amorphous Disk Mark, the 256GB drive peaks at 559MB per second read and 465 megabytes per second write. So that's about 10% faster than the official specification. The 512 gigabyte version is slightly faster at 562 megabytes per second read and 483 megabytes per second write. Again, that's about 5 to 10% faster than the official spec. Moving on to AJ system test, with a 64GB file size in the right test, both drives start off at around 450MB per second before slowing down around quarter of the way through to finish on an average of 251MB per second for the 256GB drive and 213MB per second for the 512GB drive. In the read test, the 256GB drive managed a solid 480MB per second throughout with the 512GB drive on 460. Looking at the write performance over time, we can see that both drives are writing at full speed until around 16GB of data has been transferred and the SLC cache is filled up. Then they slow down to between 120 and 150 megabytes per second. So as long as you're not transferring more than 16GB of data at one time, you're going to be getting the full speed of the drive. Overall then, while it's not going to be winning awards, this is a solid drive for the price, and it's ideal for low budget builds where economy is a priority, or for upgrading an older system with a mechanical drive to solid state. If you're thinking of picking one of these drives up, there'll be a link down in the video description. That's it for now, thanks for watching.